Hello everybody. Now, this video will teach you how to recover the lost data from the ST2000DM006. Now, I have collected the pension hard drive to the DFL Seagate thermal repair hardware. Now, I power on the hot hard drive and we can check the terminal messages output in the COM terminal. Now, let's try Ctrl Z to enter the F3T prompt. And then we can try Ctrl L to check the hard drive ID information. However, at this time, we can see that it's diagnostic port locked. So when we see this message, we can do nothing on the firmware repair because the firmware error is locked. So for this kind of hard drive, we need to unlock this COM terminal and unlock the firmware error. Okay, so what to do next? We need to enter the Seagate from repair program, obtain details. So we can see that the hard drive ID and the capacity. Click OK and we can enter the program. We click the modules list and we can see it's empty. That means the hard drive firmware error is locked and we cannot access to the SA. So at this time, the very first thing we need to do is to read ROM. That is to back up the ROM. We back up by COM port. No need to short. We can try a high file rate to back up the ROM. Now we can see that the program is entering the boot mode to read the ROM. And the ROM is named with the SN number. Now we can see this is SN number here, Siri number. That's the SN number. Now we can see that it's read at high speed and read very fast. Next step, we go to ROM operations and unlock. We can generate unlock ROM. Okay, select the original ROM and then select the unlock ROM here, the unlock ROM. And then we can click OK to generate the unlock ROM. Next step, we can write the unlock ROM because we have generated the unlock ROM, so I don't need to generate again. So here, when we write the ROM, we need to write as unlock ROM. Remember, to make sure you are writing as unlock ROM here, you just click this one and select the unlock ROM. Then we need to select here the family four key drives, four key drives. Write by COM port, click OK. Then the program starts to write the ROM to the drive. After writing the ROM, now we are writing the unlock ROM, okay? After writing the unlock ROM, we need to go to backup the firmware error. Now let's check. The program is reading, is writing. It's writing the unlock ROM at a high speed. Now we can see the baud rate. It's 921600. So we can use this high baud rate to write the unlock ROM. We just need to wait until the unlock ROM is written successfully to the pension drive. Because right now the data error is locked. It's full of bad sectors. So 
for this kind of drive, it's actually easy. Just the translator issue. We just need to unlock the ROM and then fix it. Now let's continue watching the video to see all the details. Now the unlock ROM has been written successfully. So next, what we need to do. So we just need to power off and power on the drive. And we can see this one, this message. We just need to click send unlock key and we can see it's unlocked successfully. Next, we just control Z Control L. Now we can see the drive has been unlocked successfully. We can see the family ID, the family name. Now at this time, after unlock the hard drive, we can re-enter the program. Re-enter, okay? Not power off, just re-enter the program. Now we check the module list. We can see all the modules available in this DM drive. That means the firmware error has been accessible. Now we need to back up the SYS files. Okay, back up in ATA mode because the drive gets ready and detected. So we can back up in ATA mode at high speed. Now we select the important SYS files to back up. Copy zero. Well, just to select this one. This is head zero. Just to back up the copy zero. 35. And click OK. Now we can see that this program starts to back up the SYS files. Now it's very easy and fast to back up the SYS files at high speed. After this backup, we can go to COM mode, Ctrl Z, and I4 to clear the genist. And we can check the engineist about the amount of entries. Anyway, it is zero entries returned. So we can regenerate the translator directly. Now we are regenerating translator. After regenerating translator, we control T to enter AT mode. And then we try to scan the hard drive and see if it's fixed or not. Now we can see it's fixed. And let's check if it's partial sector access. Now we scan the ending part of the hard drive and see if the drive data error is accessible or not. Now we can see that even after 94% of the hard drive, the data error is still accessible. Now that means this drive has been fully repaired. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in 
DFL Sigit from repair tool, users can contact sales at dolphindatalab.com or at Dolphin Skype ID by dolphin.data.nab. Thank you again for watching this video.